can't believe her friends convinced her to come here. She's not the kind of person to go to clubs and get drunk till she passes out. I know her well enough to know what she'd rather be doing. Probably reading manga, probably watching Spider-Man movies, making food. She looks so uncomfortable. Well, as far as I can see from my car window looking into the club, I will say, she does look fantastic in that dress. I keep thinking she can't get any more gorgeous, and each time, I'm proven wrong. I just wish all the guys inside would stop trying to take a bite at her like dogs in the heat. I feel so bad. She looks so unhappy. I wish I could just take her away from here and spoil... Wait, did she just come out? Holy crap, that's her. Why is she... Oh no. Oh goodness gracious. She's drunk out of her mind. Look at that. One of my predictions was wrong for once. Those toxic friends of hers are no help. I saw the two of them just go off with some guy. What should I do? I can't leave her out here by herself. I can barely walk without wobbling a little. Some idiot's gonna take advantage of her or something. How much did she drink? Wait, is she coming over here? Oh no. Oh goodness, oh goodness, no. Why is she coming over here? Why is she... Hey ma'am, are you alright? Do you need something? Am I your Uber driver? Um... Shit, what do I say? Uh, yeah. I am, miss. Hold on a second. Gotta hop out. Let me help you out there. There you are, madam. <laughs> Gosh, ma'am. You can barely keep your head up. Long night, huh? Yeah, I assumed so. Even when completely drunk, she's still so cute. In an endearing way, to be precise. I can't believe I'm driving with her in my car. Though, since she purged a ride and didn't actually get in the right car, it'll charge her a late fee. I think it should be easy enough for me to break in while she's asleep and temporarily put in my car info or something so she doesn't have to suffer through the payment. Afterward, I'll just remove it. That's the last thing she needs in the morning. I can already tell her hangover is going to be hellish when she wakes up tomorrow. I'm just glad I know the shortcuts to her house since I've been there so many times. I hope you weren't feeling awful or anything. Not physically, anyway. Nothing else? Okay, good. I mean this in the best way possible, but I don't think it's safe for a pretty lady like you to be out here by yourself. You might want to tone down the drinking. If not, at least try getting drunk in your own home. Did you go out with any friends? They pressured you into playing a drinking game and left you? What the? Wow. Very sorry, miss. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hang out with them either. I'll make sure they never hang out with you again. Oh, I didn't say anything, ma'am. You want to tell me something? Sure. What is it? <laughs> you think I'm cute? Um, thanks, madam. I don't really know what to say to that. It's not often I'm complimented. As flattering as that is, I'd much rather you be sober when you say it next time. That way, both of us can remember it and not just me. Come to think of it, wouldn't it have just been better for me to stay with her and wait for her driver instead of me pretending? I mean, there's not much I can do now. I'm already halfway to her place. Huh? What was that, miss? Oh, my name? It's Michael. Not that I expect you to remember it after tonight. Um, why are you asking for my name, exactly? Oh, there's no problem. It's just people don't ask me that. They usually know from reading the app once they select a ride. Too drowsy to read, huh? Damn, how much did she swig? It's a miracle she hasn't died or something. You're asking because you want my number? What the? What's going on? Since when was she so bold? I deeply appreciate your interest, but I don't think that's professional, madam. Besides, 
You're not in the best state of mind right now. She's flirting with me. She's actually flirting with me. Oh, if only she wasn't drunk. I'd gladly offer to go on a date. Well, at least I know she thinks I'm cute. That means I'll have a higher chance of making a good impression when I actually have a proper conversation with her. I'm a handsome? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's just get you home, okay? We're almost there. You have another question? Sure, what is it? Will you see me again? No, unfortunately. Most likely not. I'm just an Uber driver, after all. I don't know about those friends of yours, though. They really just left you completely alone? They've done similar things. Gosh, I... My apologies. I don't think you deserve friends like that. Your friends should actually want to spend time with you, not just abandon you. Especially not while you're like this. I thought women had a girl code or something with each other. That's what my mom always told me. Or, well, back when I had a mom. Yeah, I had a mom. Keyword on had. Past tense. You don't gotta feel sorry for me, miss. I'm doing perfectly fine. But thank you for your sympathy all the same. I'm ready to look at that, miss. We're here at your apartment. Would you like me to escort you back? Yes? Of course, ma'am. Let me open your car door. There you go. Just make sure you don't fall or something. So, what's your apartment number? Understood. Alright, here you are. I hope you get some rest. Make sure to drink water if you get a hangover. Have a good night. I'm gonna have to check on her later. Make sure she isn't vomiting all over the place. <laughs> Don't worry, love. You won't have to wait much longer for me. I'll make sure of it. Hey y'all, Maroon here. I wanted to say thanks for watching to the end of the audio. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed if you haven't already. And shoutouts to you slash CloudyVA for making the script of this audio. With that out of the way, see us.